Hey guys, it's Kelly here from Kelly & Co and today I'm going to talk sunflowers because it's the first day of spring here in New Zealand. No, I lie, it's the second day of spring. But yesterday it was raining so it did not feel like spring at all. But I have always loved sunflowers. Like, they're easy to grow, they're fun for kids, they look amazing. Um, but this year, there are just some epic varieties of sunflowers and I have got a few that I have started and I've actually planted one lot out in the garden already which I started about a month ago. I'll put a picture up here of what they look like before I planted them in and I've got um a wee clip of me putting them in the garden as well that I'll play later but I just wanted to go over a few little tips and tricks with um sunflowers so I start all my seeds inside I start them in this wee greenhouse thing here that I got from Mitre 10 or Bunnings I cannot remember but they both have them and they're around $50 best thing I ever bought like my seeds are popping up so damn fast um I'm running out of room for them but oh I'm so excited for spring um so you can plant your sunflowers, you can plant the seed directly outside but I like to give them a bit of a kickstart by starting them inside and then putting something like this or bigger into the ground. Um, so you can plant them from about August through to January so you want the soil temperature to be around 10 degrees to 30 degrees Celsius um, and you want them planted in a place that gets full sun like you want them hammered for six to eight hours a day and they will be amazing they love it the sunflowers like they love the sun so yeah full sun they are pretty drought tolerant so you don't have to worry about um missing a watering here and there but um if you do don't pour a whole lot of water on them because they don't want to be flooded and they can be prone to root rot so when you do water them do it in the morning rather than at night okay <laughs> so I'm going to show you some really cool varieties that um, I have got I'm going to have to put the pictures up on the screen because all my sunflowers look like this this is just two of them I think I have six varieties so to start with I have a uh, hybrid branching sunflower that is just your normal yellow sunflower but I thought it would be really cool for making bouquets so generally a sunflower has one bloom on it but the branching ones branch out <laughs> so there's many blooms um, on your stem um, so I just thought that it might be nice to use kind of like as the center and then place other blooms around it the next one I have is the moonwalker which are these ones here, um, it is a beautiful like pastel pale pale yellow, put it up here um, and it's just stunning again it's a single bloom, um, then I have these ones which are Mardi Gras so they're a really cool, they're kind of different shades and tones of oranges, yellows and bronzes, um, I just think that they'll be amazing they're gonna look amazing all of these are gonna look amazing just I'm so excited about having sunflowers that are different colors because they're such a big flower it's such a statement piece and there is nothing more amazing than having a full bunch of sunflowers to give someone as a gift so then I have chocolate cherry which is a deep 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 reddish brown sunflower they are not the easiest to germinate um like i put six seeds and i got one seedling so um they do have a low germination rate so just germ like plant more and then you'll get more sunflowers you're just going to have to be a bit more patient with those ones but i think they're going to be well worth it um i have the sunflower moulin rouge hybrid f1 which is the bright not really bright it's like a deep vibrant red sunflower and those are the ones that I planted out in my garden today and then I have the one I'm most excited about 
the Pro Cut Plum. Oh my god, I have seen this everywhere all over YouTube and I found it and I'm so excited. It is beautiful, that creamy white with this gorgeous plum color radiating out from the center. Like, oh, it's stunning. So with, I just thought I'd mention, with my sunflowers, I succession plant them. So like this lot that I've put out in the garden now, I will plant another lot of seeds, like start another lot of seeds now, because that was done, yeah, four or five weeks ago. So in four or five weeks time, they are going to be growing well. So then it'll be a good time to plant out the next lot so that I've got a constant roll of sunflowers to use in my bouquets or even just to leave in the garden to look pretty. And I do the succession planting with a lot of my vegetables as well, but I do like it to do with some, like to do it with some flowers, some flowers um, that only produce one bloom. So I am so damn excited. Um, I'm going to play the clip of me planting them out. I used a little bit of the Yates Blood and Bone, like it recommends a handful, like which is meant to be 100 grams, for one like plant. But because sunflowers um, are of bloom and they don't need too much um, extra fertilizer, I just use one handful between the six of them. And I have them staked, so I put the steak in already. And then I just loosely tied them with a piece of string. You can use anything to tie them on. Just make sure that it's kind of loose so they can grow upwards. Um, and then I watered them in after that, which I didn't record because Kenzie came out to play. Um, just with the Yates Seaweed Tonic. So, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Or oh, if you have any questions about sunflowers or anything, um, just go leave a comment down below or go over to my Instagram, Kelly and Co Gardening. Thanks guys. Bye.